Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Rose Eckberg, and I am the Community and Cultural Resources Planner for the City of Madison and the Managing Director of Make Music Madison. I am honored to have been the juror for Arts West 43, and I would like to congratulate everyone who was selected for the exhibition. This year, there were 183 submissions from 105 artists that included artwork of all artistic mediums, subject matters, and styles. From a strong pool of submissions, I chose 36 works of art that represent 15 communities across the state of Wisconsin. Jurying is a very fun and rewarding experience, but it's also incredibly challenging. It was really exciting to see a broad diversity of work produced by a talented collection of Wisconsin artists, but it was hard to narrow it down. In jurying this exhibition, I focused on artistic excellence, including both technical proficiency with the medium and awareness of formal design elements. I then looked for works that felt relevant to this moment in our society or that presented a strong sense of place or personhood. Many of the works I ultimately included in the exhibition complemented one another and subtle themes emerged. For instance, relationships with nature, such as Flood by Ned Gannon or The Goddess Boar by Ashley Whitling. Others like Mark Anderson's Interior Landscape or Flyover Country by Jamie Bowers encourage us to look differently at the world around us. Several of the works in the exhibition, including Jory Viana's Linda and Her Donut and Heidi Schreiner's You'll Blink First, confront us with the power of the female gaze and capture a sense of humanity, beauty, and strength. Before I announce the prize recipients, I would like to sincerely thank everyone who submitted work to this call and congratulate those of you who were accepted. For those of you who may not have been accepted, don't be discouraged. Curating a collection of works is a complex process that looks at many variables. And though your work may not have made the cut in this particular instance, it will find a fit elsewhere. It was an honor and a joy to jury this exhibition, and I hope the audience finds great pleasure in exploring the works that I selected. Now for the prize recipients. I would like to begin by awarding an honorable mention to Brianna Capra for the work Sweet Grass Woman. This piece strikes a balance between a simple design and powerful content, while also exhibiting technical skill by playing with ink opacity to express the human form. I would also like to award an honorable mention to Ned Gannon for Flood, an incredibly detailed acrylic painting with a striking sense of motion that imbues the work with a sense of place and time. I would like to award third place to Kay Garrity for the work Aftermath, which uses the encaustic medium to interpret place and creates an asymmetrical composition that draws the eye throughout the piece. Second place goes to Jory Viana for Linda and her donut. Linda's piercing gaze in this work and the playfulness of style bring me joy. It also shows a talent for the medium to capture a moment and a personality. The first place prize I would like to award to Kelly Sparrows for Aries Altar, The Tenacity of Spring. The technical skill here is very evident in the highly detailed realistic images captured in the unforgiving medium of colored pencil. I also greatly appreciate the dynamic composition that tells a story and engages the viewer in the luscious beauty of spring. Finally, I would like to award Best in Show to Ashley Whittling for The Goddess Boar. From the knowing gaze of the subject to the detail in the moth's wings and the foliage of the landscape, this piece shows excellent technical skill in watercolor. The work also hints at a story, while the vibrant sense of life expertly expresses the beauty of our world. Congratulations to all the prize recipients, and thank you for inviting me to jury this exhibition.